All right, it was a successful thrifting trip. However, we had a little bit of an issue at checkout, but we took care of it and we're okay now. See it, the CD's taped in because they don't want to see it. But it's old. It's what Nana Papa has. I'm gonna scan a video. Hopefully, I'm trying it the right way. It was a successful thrifting trip. However, my kids can't keep masks on, so we had a little bit of an issue at checkout, but we took care of it and we're okay now. Uh, I picked up a chair for a friend and also some other unnecessary items, but nice items. So I can't wait to show them to you. We are heading to go be with who? 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 Who are we gonna go be with? I don't know who. Daddy. We're gonna go check out lunchtime with daddy and yeah, then we'll be heading back home, so. We did have some returns from our last thrifting haul that I brought back. They were good shirts, but my husband just, he said I have too much like it, so that's awesome. That, you know, he wanted to keep what he has and I wasn't quite sure the condition of them, the quality of the ones that I was buying to go ahead and replace and try to upscale the quality of those items so those are going back or did go back and um, now we've got a couple other things that we're going to try out and I'm excited to show you but we are still heading up group one to visit daddy so that'll be fun right guys yeah. <laughs> just a little fun impromptu trip this morning we dropped off at consignment, my favorite consignment store. It is so pretty out here. It's getting sunny. It's getting sunny now. Yay! Um, so we're going to probably try to stop off at the consignment shop. We didn't go in earlier because she wasn't yet open. She opens at 10. She likes her drop-offs to be done at 9.30 to 10-ish and we were of course early um, to drop off and on time all in the same <laughs> thing and we dropped off but her store wasn't open yet so we figured we would head down to Hannaford's and Goodwill out here in Topsom and all that stuff so we're gonna go visit daddy for lunch and then get back home hopefully and do our throat day call. What did you say? Today is a fun day. What makes it a fun day? <laughs> we go out and do things.
Mmm, nice bites. <laughs> got our things and I wanted to show you what we got at Sippy Cup and then the Goodwill haul. So Sippy Cup was great. Again, I still have a credit there. So it was awesome. Pent around, spent around 65, something like that. Got my little slip here. We did get some unnecessary things like this. Not very necessary. My son loves this. So it was $4. Probably shouldn't have got it, but did. <laughs> And I got a lot of fun stuff for my daughter. I really understand right now what she's needing for this next season and even for fall after that. She's going into some more like 6X things. Depends on how that is formed. And you know, if you've got kids, there's different brands, there's different cuts anyway. So I got her this cute little shirt from Old Navy. And it's got some ruffles here. Super cute. Yes, it's long sleeve. You know we live in Maine, so we're gonna wear this. This is only a couple dollars, size six, seven. Here, this Gap Kids. This is just a denim-like. It's not super heavy, but it's not super light. So I wouldn't call it like a thin chambray, but it came with a belt, beautiful little buttons, longer sleeves, a way to roll them up here, but this is going to be so cute and versatile. That's exactly what she needs in her wardrobe. Then I picked up, of course, blush. <laughs> Doesn't this shirt look fun? It's going to be so fun on her. The ruffles are just adorable. I'm not even sure what brand this is. It's like brandless. It just says XXL. The cuff here at the bottom, it's just so sweet and thick. Look at that. Nice stretch to it. Lots of life. No pilling. This is going to be a great shirt to pair with some of the items that we got her. This next item I was super excited to find, Hannah Anderson. 100% cotton, just a cute little dress here, long sleeves, yes I know. Cute little yellow buttons, just darling with matching leggings score. Super excited, look at that. So she can wear these wherever and look at the bottom. What a cute little touch, little ruffles. <laughs> this was a great buy. Oh, you probably wanna know. I paid a little bit more than the other ones for this. Looks like the tag went missing. I think my daughter is expecting to wear that tonight. 350 for this little ruffle skirt. Again, just to get her through get her through with her wardrobe found this ruffly skirt with lace this is only three dollars this is a children's place i believe item so this is gonna be excellent in her wardrobe i think oh she's got one on i tell you we were leaving the store and she had tried a shirt on 
she still had it on. Yeah, so I ran back in real quick and I'm like, oh my, I'm so sorry. And the, the honor's just great there at Sippy Cup. Um, but I have this one and I also have a washed out one that's a little lighter denim and these are just absolutely perfect. This is Cat and Jack Target. So I got two of these little cutoff sleeves. This is going to be great for next fall and even now when she's wanting to have a little bit of layering or whatever. This was only $5. The other one was $5. So two denim jacket crop tops for 10 bucks. Can't beat that. For my boys, I did a lot for Natalie. But for my boys, I just picked this up, Crew Cuts. It's a nice brand. It's a bit of a more like worn looking uh, sport coat, navy blue. I just figured my son could pair this, my oldest son could pair this with some khakis and not beat up his other suit coats as bad. And it was missing a button here. She noted that like she, she always does, see? Missing, missing a button. So we're gonna get that button fixed. I'm pretty sure I have a navy blue button somewhere that I can put on there or I could just change it out and get them, you know, brown buttons or something because there's only two there here on the sport coat so a dollar he's going to be able to use this to really help his dressy wardrobe i picked up something for in the future in advance these were brand new tags still on here size 11 originally 10 bucks so it's a dollar general item they're just super cute i love this these um, elastic type, they can pull it right on their foot. It's really a lot easier than other shoes that I've seen for boys. And look, you've got the, you know, faux lacings. That's not even really since it's just an elastic band. So those are gonna be darling. They're nice camo and they might make it through one boy. One and a half boys, I don't even know. We don't have a half boy, but you know what I mean. They might make it. <laughs> And uh, these will fit Mason very, very soon. So we're going to keep these on hand. It might even be this summer. He's going to get his wonderful feet in here. And then these things are going to be goners. But we got them for eight bucks. So that was awesome with our credit from Sippy Cup Consignment. Without any further ado, we got some things. Actually, I have a lot of things missing from this pile. I have a chair that I purchased for a friend, a wicker chair. It needs a little TLC, but it was $8. So we got that. And um, some other things for the kids. We got some cars like usual. My daughter got a cute little baby seat that attaches to the table. She got, boy, it's hard to remember what they got. <laughs> she had some nice sparkly Crocs that she had to have. Those were brand new items. Goodwills have the brand new items and that was something she picked up, which was good. And that's gonna help her wardrobe in a way, you know, with summer coming, Crocs are good to cover those toes or croc-like off-brands are just as, just as good. One second. It's supposed to be resting time, but that didn't happen. <laughs> Hubby's home, so he's wrangling them while I go through this. Okay, so there's a couple things missing from this pile because the kids went, took their stuff and ran. We also got some vintage Hot Wheel tracks. My sons were pretty excited about building and putting together. That was a couple dollars. And we picked up legit Thomas tracks and um accessories i think there's like a water tank or a little crane or something in there and those were only a couple dollars so that was a good find for sure we're always on the lookout to add to things that we already have or to replace something with better quality that we have now so we're adding that to that collection and the hot wheel track things is something that my boys have been asking for for forever and we already have hot wheels so it'll help those become like new because hot wheels need to have more stuff right I don't even know. There's a couple things that I had to I had to, I to leave out of my pile that's right before me, but I'll show you them as well. Here is a game that I got for our homeschool. This is the Scrambled States Across America game. It was listed for five. And as you know, I have a discount card, so I got this cheaper, 20% cheaper actually. So this was an awesome buy. Still in the package, except for the little bit that my kids, you know, started getting into it. But this is a brand new in the box item. I'm super excited. Something just as good as new. This is the vintage mastermind game. Does anyone remember this? I played this all the time. This is like coding before coding, you know, 
anyway, figuring it out the the code, the different things. And then one person sits on one side, they make a little code with little dots, and the other person sits on the other side, and they have to guess it. It's kind of like Battleship, but you're not shooting ships. You're trying to figure out the code inside of this game. So anyway, yeah, here's a little picture of the game. Okay, I wanted to interject here. I am just going blah, 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 but the same thing I've already showed you. But when my son played this game, I tell you, it was absolutely amazing. He has a hard time being wrong. He doesn't like to be wrong. So sometimes you need a game or you need something that he doesn't know everything, but it's okay because the process of getting things wrong is going to get you to the right. So he's making his mistakes. He's getting his right and wrong. He gets to pick and choose. He also gets to see someone else struggle and not know it right away. And it's okay. It will be fine. That's what the game has taught him. And it, this has been a great game. I'm so glad we got it. Books, we found The Hungry Caterpillar. We've been looking for this for a while. Oh, we're so excited to find a board book. It was pretty pricey. But again, we got that 20% off and, you know, it works out. We have Hop on Pop. My husband's gonna appreciate this one. <laughs> Sheet grippers. I know you could probably get these from Dollar Tree. We pay two dollars at Goodwill with the discount a little bit cheaper, but it it's gonna help our bed right here. This good old bed likes to slip sheets a lot. I think it's like a deep tight mattress, and I just haven't been able to find sheets very well for it. Got this for a friend. Hopefully it will work there. If not, I'm gonna use it in my home. I've got a couple um, lights that sometimes the lampshades get a little dented. This was in perfect condition. Hopefully it still is. This was just a dollar and it's like a tweed. If you can see that, it's just so pretty. So picked that up for a dollar or less because of the discount. Got me some belts. I know you heard me talk about belts that I wanted to get. I did find one that was like a blush pink. However, didn't really fit this girl. So that's okay. It was more like a toddler size, actually. <laughs> Wrapped it around my daughter, and I was like, this should not be in the women's section. Just saying. $2 for this one red. It was yellow day, so this came down to $150 from three. And this is actually a Steve Madden. Not that I'm really into brands or anything, but it's got some good quality here. I don't think it's anything real. No, I don't think it's real. <laughs> and this is going to be pretty, too. Um, to wrap around and both of these will work on my waist as well as my hips If you know what I mean about belts, you want them to work <laughs> different areas picked up a dress This might go back can't try on stuff at Goodwill Because of the situation But this is the sister to some of the dresses that I already have I know everyone in their dog has these dresses, but they're so comfy and versatile and lovely It is a long one, I thought it would work really good in the summer, even though it has these sleeves, three quarter, in the air conditioning, inside, you know, this works all year round, at least for me. So this was marked up to six, but we had that discount. It's super pretty, these flowers. Hopefully that works. I found a dress for Natalie. Again, we're going into this color. <laughs> Our whole wardrobe's gonna be this color. This is a Forever 21, so it's actually if like a small lady. I don't even know who would be that skinny, but this fits my <laughs> young daughter. So it's super cute at the bottom, the ruffles here. Definitely needs an iron, but this is just darling. They marked it at six, but we got it a little cheaper with our discount. Last, but not least in clothing, that is. I found, I love this brand, Gloria Vanderbilt. I love this brand, it just fits my curvy self, you know, really well. So this is the Amanda, ha, <laughs> this is the Amanda cut, the slimming jean, oh boy. So this is size 12, I have gone down in some sizes and I'm trying to figure out where I'm at. Um, she runs a little big, so this will probably be just like a 14, you know, this will be fine. And look, all the original tags. So this is petite, so I figured this might work for like capris, and yes, it's black, very stretchy, brand new, has my name on it. I mean, could you ask for more? I don't really know how these, how these go over original price. I usually see them at BJ's, but I mean, brand new with tags. They said 10, but I know I got the price for like eight. So that's great. Spring form pan. 
a dollar. Not in the greatest condition, it's got a little dent, but if I was to make a cheesecake, which I've wanted to here recently and I don't have one, a dollar's fine. A dollar's fine to try out something that I'm not sure if I'm gonna use. <laughs> here I got a nice basket. We have a basket almost just like this that was struggling and probably needs to be decommissioned or what have you. $4, which is a bit much. They charge a lot for baskets. I mean, this one's really pretty. This could do a lot of stuff. This could hold some toiletries in the bathroom. This could, you know, versatile. And I use my baskets a lot. Like this could be for like a little serving thing or what have you. Baskets, $4. That's the end of my pile. There's nothing on this side and everything's on this side. <laughs> So it looks like I got through it. There's a couple things that I missed out on, but I'll try to get some pictures for you. But thank you so much for joining me. Thrifting is something I enjoy. We've been doing a lot of it lately because we've had some free time, but then we'll have long spurts that, you know, it's, it's very, we miss, we don't have good shopping. And I know that happens to every thrifter and everyone who's looking for something, but I'm really thankful that we found these items um, at this time. So super, super happy. The stores are packed. People are spring cleaning, people are getting rid of things that aren't useful to them anymore, and they can be someone else's treasure. So I hope that this is an encouragement to you to get out thrifting, uh, shop with a purpose, shop with intent, and do the do the thrifting, the thrifting thing. Let me know what you find. Uh, have you found some good deals? Go ahead and leave those in the comments below. Have you found like an amazing deal like lately? Like I found Ironstone this, or I found, you know, like all our brands and types. I found this dress that's regularly, whatever, and I got it for this and I wear it all the time. I don't know, do you have a thrift success story, a thrift win? Go ahead and share it below. I love hearing about those things. I'm one of those girls, if you meet me up at church and you're like, girl, your dress is so pretty, you know, like where'd you get it? Or that is such a cute outfit. I am like, yes, and guess what? I thrifted it and it was 10 bucks. And I don't, I'm just crazy like that. It was $6 and 80 cents. That was the numbers for last time I went thrifting, 680, 680. <laughs> so if you ever ask me, I'll tell you, got it for a dollar or whatever. So happy thrifting to you. Thank you for joining me on Mind Your Matters. I pray this is an encouragement to you and you'll see some pictures after this of some other items that I forgot probably. All right. Have a good one. Please subscribe, like, and share all the things and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. So cool.